links is service and friendship and making a difference in our communities and making sure that people who don't have the voices that we have and haven't had the opportunities that we have get acknowledged. The Washington chapter, interestingly, interestingly enough, was the third chapter in the chain of friendship. It started in Philadelphia and those ladies used to play poker and they had friends in Atlantic City that they played poker with. So they talked to those friends and asked them to form the second chapter. And those friends talked to friends in Washington, D.C. and got them to form the third chapter. So in the entire organization, with the third chapter. My most memorable thing was serving as Eastern Area Director of the Lynx. I was the 14th Eastern Area Director and uh, those four years were very exciting for me because I got a chance to meet Lynx here in the Eastern area and that's from Virginia up to Maine. And I also met Lynx all across the country and in uh, Nassau because we have a chapter there. We did have one in Germany so I got an opportunity to meet them as well and uh, develop friendships and camaraderie with these women who are doing exciting things. And sometimes it humbles you very much to know how much service they're giving to the community and how you feel you're not really doing enough. My joy in, in being with the Lynx has been able to link with some of the contem contemporary issues that affect health and, uh, and communities. Um, in 2004 and 5, uh, the National Trends and Services Committee was hosting community health fairs at various public housing um, facilities in D.C., Northwest D.C. And, one of, and we had uh, students and um, faculty from the dental school, Howard University Dental School, who would come and do health screenings for the seniors and others there at the facility. And one day when I heard a gentleman tell me how he had pulled his own tooth out because he was in so much pain and could not get dental services, and we realized that there were many young children who were going without dental care because of the not just the health disparities, but the dental health disparities as well. The oral health program that became a signature program for National was one that focused on education, preventive treatment, and referrals for underserved children. We were, we were treating children with the ages of pre-K through 12 years of age. When you do work in the community with people that you are friendly with, the work doesn't become work. It's just fun to be able to help people when you're doing it with friends. Currently, we are also working at Banneker Academic High School with our International Trends and Services program, training young people how to be more uh, aware of and to choose the foreign service as their career and so that they can be participants and citizens of the world. We feel that we are carrying out the intent of the founders by our scholarship activity that we engage in. And we are having a fundraiser this year to celebrate our 70th anniversary. As a chapter, we were very instrumental in our organization giving a million dollars to the National Museum of African American History and Culture. So on that poster, if you ever go to the museum and it's on the first floor, you'll look and you'll see the Lynx Incorporated. Lynx is an organization of sisterhood, friendship, and community service. And since I've been a Lynx, I have developed a lot of new sisters, we have participated in numerous community services, activities, and the friendship is awesome. Those who have come before me have created an incredible foundation upon which to build friendships, uh, have an opportunity to provide a deep link to moving the communities that we serve forward, and uh, are in the process of learning new technologies and new ways of communication, and so what I would say to them is, you've given us a good foundation upon which to jump off into new medias and into new journeys for social justice and friendship. Well, I'm just so thankful to be a part of the chapter and to be able to celebrate with my Link sisters 70 years of friendship and service. And I look forward to 
several more years with the Washington DC chapter and continuing to fellowship and serve in friendship with my sisters. You're standing on the shoulders of, of women who saw the need and met the obligation for that. And you are to carry on so for another hundred years this organization will be there for those in need.